So listen with us to the legend of Akusika. Clap your hands to the rhythms of the dancing drums. For the elders are here with us and dance in silence to the song of Akusika made with the hand of gold.
It's the land of mythology. A voice cries out. A profound voice. An ethereal call that echoes like the ripples of heavy thunder through the dark, dark corridor of time. Fate, stringent protector of the sealed destinies of men. I stand before you, mighty wisdom, and I prostrate at your feet and rise to receive the destinies of your is his destiny. Without substance. But simple and free of pain. Go, my spirit son. I release you for a brief time to mortal existence, where life is only a spark of light within an eternal night. For you, to live long is to suffer. Go. Unforgiving to follow an adversary, yet it lives for scores of prosperous years. She searches for fulfillment, denied in earlier life. Go, my spirit's daughter. I release you for four score years to mortality. Go, searching for life's happiness. Sealed in a bottle and flung into the ocean. If you find it, when you find it, share it with mankind. Go!
my spirit daughter, rise! Faith, what destiny? What destiny? One long night, I see only darkness. A life plagued by pain. From infancy, is there no light breaking the monotonous darkness? No light. And the darkness deepens as she travels the journey. Oh, no light at all. Then shall divine intervention be necessary. Go, so, my spirit's daughter. I release you for a time to suffering mortality. Your life shall teach man about life. For man has yet to understand the essence of divine grace. Go, so, my spirit's daughter. It's like a river. It flows and bends through the valleys like a python. It cuts through the stony hills, falls over the rocky face of the southern sea, spreads these waters shallow here, deep there, uncertain at times. But it flows on and goes on until it reaches the mighty ocean. At the appropriate time, rescue her from the grip of death and restore her to eternal happiness. And so shall be supreme being. Faith, go to her. These mortal spirits, among them this maiden, are about to take your first breath in a cruel world where unhappy man struggles. Despising the happiness I gave, living in hatred instead of love, in treachery instead of rectitude, you know your duty. In a frightening speed, in the gales and in the whirlwinds, I descend upon earth. Legend has it. Legend has what? Oh, legend has it. That's a young heroine once lived a life. Fated with painful beginnings. The misfortune of deformity. The chance. Oh, which only Onomakuma, the supreme giver of life, could understand. Her name is Aku Sika. <laughs> That does it the eye. No, 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 no. Eyes that charm, that melt it, the hearts of snow. And you need your soul that calm the stormy mind. Grace is made. <laughs> Young men dare not to put for a hand for fear of embarrassing rejection. <laughs> no one dared until the Lord had a New York king who could not resist the 
macam apa aku
I am the great grandson of Okufo Kwa, the fearless one who knew no retreats and fought and skinned and life fly on single-handed in the sacred grove of our great ancestors. My name is Kasa Prako, which stands for truth. Abotre Nenyansa, meaning patience and wisdom. And to the people of the land, I take the great oath of allegiance. I swear with this ancient sword in hand that I shall rule with justice, truth, and humility as my guide. That I shall protect, defend, and safeguard the rich heritage and rights of all our people. If you call me to duty, in rain or shine, day or night, I shall respond with the promptness of an ego. And if I fail so to respond, and I turn my back on you, then I do not deserve to be your king. And I shall bear the full consequence of that irresponsibility. This, I swear. <laughs>
No, no, I've heard this from him. Do you know this for a fact? The man, the woman. The woman, who is she? Hey! Hey! But the man, come away from me! Aku! I tell you. Aku! That orphan girl who killed her mother for giving birth to her and destroyed her father, whose grief ended his life? I, I see the way I'm quite well. Hey! What are you saying? I tell you about that deformity. Apart from being evil. Evil, she said. Have you seen something unusual about it? What? They can have you again. She's extremely beautiful. To me, she's not. But I'm least concerned about her looks. Have you seen that she doesn't go out often? Not even on market days. And when she does or has to, her left arm is always concealed by a cloth. Yes. Yes. Yes! I noticed that during the turn of all ceremony, she was in the crowd. And it's a lustful gaze I have on my right husband. You. It means nothing to me then. So tell me, tell me, where does she conceal her left arm? It's not there. Hey! She doesn't have a full arm, it ends at the elbow. Does my right husband know of this? Yes. Would he care? Thank you. For now, I must consult the Queen Mother and the Royal Elders now. Wait, 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 wait. What? Wait. Nana, it is sweet that your brother told me to tell you, but I beg of you not to tell the elders. It could complicate things for me. If it is true that such is unimportant, Braha say. Chiamme. Nana, speak. I listen. Three months on the throne, and I am already dissatisfied with my people. The people, Nana, it seems, do not like some of the things you do. What do you expect after a dirty contest of mudslinging and blatant bribery between ambitious would-be kings whose only right to the throne is the possession of ill-gotten wealth, with which they could buy the very throne they wish to sit on? Yeah, my sister, you are too harsh and unkind to the other contestants to the throne. If I am harsh and unkind, you rule to see. But I do not dismiss the level of hatred, envy, and hypocrisy, which now occupy the hearts of some of my elders. But Chame, what are some of the things I do that the people do not like? The people, Nana, they say that you are too free with the ordinary subjects, that you are too strict with the cocoa smugglers, that you prevent them from exploiting, the little gold they used to make in their good old days until you came to the throne. If these are their reasons for disliking me, they will soon hate the very bed that they sleep. Tell them that I shall never condone their corruption. And if they do not change from their ways, they shall never find in me compassion and understanding. And I, your sister Yan, will stand firmly behind you. Perhaps, Nana, the most serious dislike of all is the fact that you have decided to marry that young woman, Aku whose pride has watered off scores of many suitors. Pride? What can I say to that? Dignity to the unsure for his pride. Aku is a diamond that gains a dead stroke sun. The devil fears to touch it for... Aro! Amen. Your countenance is not Ogawa, but I will still hear you. Nana awaits to hear your seemingly urgent message. Your elders and your elders' wife seek a most serious audience with your highness. The Queen Mother is also with us. A more serious audience. That cannot wait for the sun to set on. That sounds like a threat. It is a threat. Ochiame, I am forever ready to receive my elders, the Queen Mother and my eldest wife. You have heard, Nana. You are most welcome to the presence of His Royal Highness. What could be so serious to warrant a meeting of such urgency? And the Queen Mother too, who has never forgiven you for contesting against her favorite candidates. Hey! Her own son. My sister, let us not anticipate the hunter's game. He may set out to kill a bull, but may end up bringing home a rat. Nana, the great king, the wise one that rules his people with insight and very law. 
the prowling bush cats that leads his brave warriors to conquer foreign lands. Nana welcomes his elders, the powerful queen mother of Barpenin of her land, whose way to the wise is a metaphor on life, and his wife who ranks first among his wives. Nana listens. Ochiame, Nana, Nana Yere, Queen Mother, Royal Elders, I greet you. This morning, Nana Yere Ama, eldest wife for a new king, has brought a most serious charge against her husband, the king. My royal sister-in-law is always bringing serious charges against her husband. Before he was king, during his reign, and I'm sure they're all over his royal reign. Those words are unnecessary. And the waste of precious time should be. Yeah! Do not interfere matters of the kingdom. I would like everybody here, including ya, to know that I did not come here to witness an expression of bitterness. A complaint has been made, a serious one, against our king. Many have complained against him, but we are patient. When the hyena is accused by the antelope of brutality, only patience finds him out. It is his nature. Complaints are normal human expressions. A charge is a tantamount unto a trial. I want to know what crime I have committed, that my own wife must find such gods as to summon me like a criminal before my elders. Nana is anxious to know the charge. So, to tell this god in what she has told us, Nana, I open your mouth. Oba Penny, royal elders. My royal husband has insulted me. He has disregarded custom and trampled upon the sacred throne of his living ancestors. Go on, go on. He has decided to marry another woman. Ah, but that is not against custom. In fact, that is not even disregarding custom. The woman he is marrying is Aku. A most suitable choice for Will a handsome young yeah. there. Your blind loyalty to your brother is no license for needless interruption. And so, everyone here makes a comment. When I make one, it's a needless interruption. Yeah! Yeah! You are one! My what sister! Who you are the woman? My sister! You are one, Nasi. Go on, my dear wife. The woman I am marrying is Aku. And Aku is deformed. What? How? Where? That is false. Is it? Is it? It is true and he knows it too. Nana! Nana, look at me! You know I said to Chinese regarding this taboo, but still! First, is it true you have decided to marry Aku? And second, you see the form. I have decided, and I am going to marry Aku, as to whether she is deformed or not. I am sure my wife knows the facts. I asked the question, where is she deformed? She and I'm still waiting for an answer. She has only one complete ammo, the right one, the left end at her elbow. No, 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 if this is true. Is this deformity from birth or some misfortunate human accident? Queen Mother, it does not matter whether birth defect or accidentally inflicted. A deformity is the deformity. I shall answer that. There are so many of us in this kingdom, including would-be kings and power thirsty corrupt men and women, who are morally and spiritually deformed. Yes, society seems to sanction the moral bankruptcy and the spiritual cancer, and rather seek out to humiliate the pure in heart, whose physical makeup is neither a social crime nor the measure of human imperfection. We consider the blind and the lame physically deformed, yet we ourselves cannot walk out three right years into life's journey. The blind and the dumb see no evil, hear no evil, and speak no evil, yet we ourselves face in more degeneration and fails. My apple is not deformed. If I'd realized she was deformed before I met my ancestral throne, I'd have married her ten times if I'd realized she was sort of a lady. And yet they hear me. And yet they hear me. My apple is not and has never been deformed. My brother, the wisdom that issues from your mind is of the gods. And it gladdens my heart. Ow. Now I am confused. Nana says Aku is deformed. The king says she is not. Which of you is telling the truth? For me, I stand firm on my charge. I challenge my royal husband to prove me wrong. Oh, Chiami, let it reach our royal highness. That is all why right. those in my challenge to prove him wrong. If wrong, she faces grave consequences. 
But if true, if true, if true, you know the law, you, you shall, shall be done in his grace. Ah. Nana, the grace of eloquence is seated at your lips. Your word. My uncle is perfect. Perfect? Nana, let's be serious. Have you ever heard of a perfect human being? Haven't you? The word you set or stand in the judgment of another. My uncle is perfect. Queen Mother, what do you see? Only patience will unearth the truth. My son, you must summon this young woman, Aku, to appear before us all here in the court. All the elders of the land must be present. Let all the citizenry gather outside this palace on Saturday at noon to see and hear the truth about Aku and the immediate consequence. It shall be done, royal mother. Saturday at noon, we shall all gather here. Party! Get out there. My brother, I promise to stand against you. I promise to stand against the evil machinations of those who seek to bring you down. Obviously, your eldest wife, Nana Yoyama, ah. and some of your elders are after you, like a pack of hungry hyenas, after a gentle lamb. And it seems as though this time they'll succeed. My sister, I will succeed in what they set out to do, and I will succeed in what I set out to do. Now, Chiame, go to Aku and tell her not to worry. Tell her to fear no one but God. Go. It shall be done. Aku, we have told you everything. You must prepare to come to the palace Saturday at noon. But it might not be. Aku, you must. Not to come with send a message that you fear to face the truth. To come with me that the ultimate judge of human imperfection is Ottoman Kuma alone. Moreover, the case is no deformity in you. But I am. Hmm? You are? My sister-in-law is telling the truth? Yes. Aku, can I see it? Aku, please. Fine, you may. You're ready, Uncle Tell me, it is true. Hey, Aku, how did this happen? You want to know? You have the heart to listen. Aku, I have the heart to love you even better now. Go, on, my daughter. I was born complete like any other child. That crawls, falls, loves and cries. Since birth, I've known no laughter. <laughs> Not until your brother, the king, made me laugh for the dry laughter stored plentifully within me. My mother died giving me birth. But I did not suffer that pain, for I did not see it or know it. My father took care of me alone, a hunter and his infant child, <laughs> living together. When I was old enough, he told me the accidental story of my handless left arm, for which he consequently blamed himself and died prematurely. Before he shut a trap, before he died, said he shut a trap. A jacket was with steel teeth like a canine jaw. I was napping while he bathed in the far corner of the courtyard. Apparently, 
I had crawled into the yard. He had the loudest cries that never issued forth from an infant's heart. He rushed out and found it. And what he thought to be his dead baby. But the giver of life won't let me die. I lived. But my father died a few years later, leaving me with my grandmother, his mother. I see. Now where's this grandmother who brought you up? Did you not see the old woman sitting outside? The old woman will be dead? Yes. She's almost blind now and I'm her only source of joy. But Xiaomi, you should let her know what is going on then. We must. It will destroy her. Aku! Nana Ba, come in. Oh! Ah, the people are still here. Oh! Mm. I did not intend to really interrupt your conversation, visitors. I did not know you were still here. I said my apologies. Abrewa, mm. don't worry. You have no apologies to me. Mm. Nana Ba, the visitors are from the king's palace. Mm. The Chiami and his sister, Mamea. Welcome to our humble abode. We did not know you were coming. Ah, Aku, why did you not tell me? Eh, Aku, it is not good that you should not tell me. Eh, have you given them water to drink? How do I look? Is my cabal presentable? Oh, hey. Duan, you look remarkable. Mm. We are not here to see your shots coming. Hey, it is true what the elders say. The day you are ill prepared is when you meet your in laws. Highly so. But you are not ill prepared. So we may be your in-laws. My in-laws? Huh. Did you say my in-laws? Who is marrying whom? Nanaba, hmm? the king intends to marry your granddaughter, Aku. The king! Ah, did you say the king? Say no more, it, it, it cannot be. We know. You do. You, you know it cannot be. We know why you say you that. You do not but understand. We do all what Then why? Why do you not tell? This grandchild of mine has had a life plagued with pain. The pain of losing a mother at pain of losing a limb at the tenderest age. Of losing her father, even before reaching puberty, ah, even the elephant has a limit to the weight he must carry. Nanaba, huh? and to add to this, they want me to expose my deformity yeah. before the entire citizenry. To expose your deformity? But that is most unkind. Nanaba, to them, it is a deformity. But to the king and some of us, Aku is whole, Aku is complete. Nanayiri is determined to bring down the king in this case because the king has chosen to marry the woman of his heart, your granddaughter Aku. But the king is prepared to fight for the sake of Aku rather than perpetuate the misconception of the so called deformed. Nanaba, we must all stand behind them. He will marry Aku, no matter the consequence. If it were not for the kind king and for you who have shown us such understanding, I will not even listen to you. But we must leave it to Aku herself to decide. What do you have to say, my grandchild? I shall obey the king and appear before the people. I'll be there with you, my grandchild. And so shall we, Aku. The legend of Aku is like a river. It flows and mendes through the valleys. 
like a python. It cuts through the stony hills, falls over the rocky face of the southern steep, spreads such waters, shallow here, deep there, uncertain at times. But it flows on and moves on until it reaches the mighty ocean. Faku, the end must come, for she will not suffer another trial of humiliation. She resolved to reveal the truth of her physical self, to satisfy the demands of man. But as the appointed day drew close, her spirit would not dance to this music. She chose death over disgrace, death by drowning. up by the noisy winds of the river. Yet, she calls. <laughs> echoes, echoes, echoes fill the valleys. Oh, mother. Oh, mother, I've suffered enough. I can't bear no more. Give me back to the other land. Aku! Aku, have you been here? Aku! Aku, are you here? People of this earth, have you seen my grandchild? She must be found. I must find her before she performs a desperate act. I am looking for her. Oh, groping, stumbling, falling, climbing you. And this is the mountains because she is my only grandchild. And I must find her. Uncle! Uncle, where are you? Tomorrow is the day she must submit to a man's judgment. I should never have permitted her to do so. Uncle left her humble abode. I don't. Where she was going, she did not tell me. I have been searching and searching for her all day in vain. But I have not found her. Good people of this end, if you see her, if she comes here and you see her, tell her to come home. She is the only source of hope in my life. Aku! Aku, where are you? Ah! Where is my grandchild? Forgive me, grandmother. Forgive me for the pain and the agony. But I've chosen death over shame. Some will say, this is a cowardly act. Others will whisper that I'm responsible for the misfortune of my family. But now you know the truth, will blame no one. And so, River that flows through the bowels of the earth. Take me with you.
Bye bye, bye bye. Come, my Apu, in whom I place my trust. Apu, hid the arm from the sight of man. Let slanderous tongue and evil eye should cut it down. From now to eternity, Apu shall be known as Apu Sika! My son, my royal son, forgive us all. I shall also entreat you to spare the life of Nanariyama, who would have you dethroned and disgraced but for this revelation. Mother of the land, Aku's arm is decked in gold. I shall not smear it with blood. I shall spare her life and forgive her. Now, let there be great rejoicing, because today we celebrate a great hero and Aku Sika!
how we die and why we die. Charlotte.